Well, the Daytona 500 set for Sunday, so that brought Mike Hegedus under the car to the wheels that make the multi-billion dollar auto market roll. Mike is on America Tonight. For James Chen, going in circles, here we go, is a way of life. Chan is the president and founder of Axis Sports Tuning in Santa Fe Springs, California. And when he's not doing donuts in the parking lot, he's designing wheels. Wheels that were first seen in the movie, The Fast and the Furious. Sport compact car phenomenon. The little Hondas, the little Toyotas, we call them the rice rockets. That really launched, you know, the movie Fast and Furious, that really launched that segment. A segment the automobile aftermarket worth an estimated $21 billion, over 30% of that spent on, yes, wheels. Wheels are huge in this market. Uh, it's the first thing people do. It's the easiest thing for people to do. It's the easiest thing to change. Uh, it's what everybody sees. It's uh, the most bang for your buck, most affordable. We are very fortunate that people come up and say, I want this Axis wheel. So it is like a Nike or an Apple iPod. There is a little bit of cachet to it. And it'll take a little cachet to get you a set, two to 3000 for a set of four. In fact, the demand is such that after years of ignoring the potential, every auto show and most dealers now show off wheel selections. The car companies want in on the aftermarket bounty, meaning boutique designers like Chen, who started the trend, simply have to stay, dare I say, quicker. We're in the fashion business. We always have to have something new every year to keep the consumers going. Consumers like Randy Riggs, who has worked over his 2003 Infiniti G35 Coupe from the wheels up. The base price on the car is what? Around $36,000. How much money you got in it? Another $30,000. <laughs> in fact, Riggs is the perfect example of where Chen says the market has come. Those 18 to 25 year olds who were tuning up their cars 10 years ago when the movie came out are now tuning something else. It's called the VIP market, or in Japan, the Bitpos. They have a family, they're married. They're, they're making much more money than they were before. They're veering toward the sedans, the European sedans, the Japanese sedans, the Acuras. The TLs, the 5 Series BMW, the Lexuses. So they're fixing up those cars now. And James Chen is right there, designing high end wheels for them. See, life does go in circles. On America, Mike Hegedus, CNBC, in Santa Fe Springs, California.